everybody, welcome to Greybeard's Jewels. Today we want to start off with a quick shout out to subscriber Rosie Hints. Thank you for your support. Want your own shout out? Simply comment shout out in the comments below. And without further ado, here are 10 fun facts about Maine. Number 1. One of the world's all-time best horror authors, Stephen King, was born in Portland. Since his first published novel, Carrie, was released in 1974, he's written over 60 more books, many of which have been turned into movies. The Green Mile starred Tom Hanks as a prison guard and the late Michael Duncan Clark, who delivered a phenomenal performance as the wrongly accused John Coffey. The Shining, an 80s horror classic, gave the world Jack Nicholas's iconic and horrifying Here's Jenny scene. It, another horror favorite, brought Pennywise, possibly the most terrifying clown ever, into our nightmares. Number 2. Paleo Indians, nomadic big game hunters, were the first inhabitants of the area possibly as long ago as 13,000 years. Their presence is evidenced by the distinctive stone tools that have been discovered throughout the area. The next recognized inhabitants of Maine were the Red Paint People, named such because of the red ochre they used to line the graves of their dead. Little is known about this prehistoric group of people, but the bits of bone and stone that have been found have been dated to around 3,800 to 6,000 years ago. Number 3. You'll have a better chance spotting a moose in Maine than any of the other 48 lower United States. They are the largest members of the deer family, with males averaging 1,100 pounds, often standing more than 6 foot at the shoulder, with antlers spanning 5 foot or more. Females are smaller, but still incredibly large. The best time to catch a glimpse of these majestic creatures is at dusk and dawn from late spring through midsummer. During the fall breeding season, bulls are sporting their best-looking antlers, but be sure to use caution as they can become quite aggressive at this time. Before we go any further, just a quick reminder to like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. Thank you all for your support. Number 4. 65 lighthouses dot the shores and islands of Maine. The Portland Head Light at Cape Elizabeth is the state's oldest, first lit in 1791 and still active today. And it was the inspiration for Longfellow's poem, The Lighthouse. The Marshall Point Lighthouse at Port Clyde, built in 1823, was featured in Forrest Gump. Remember when he ran across the country? Not only is West Quaddy Head Lighthouse in Lubeck the easternmost point in the United States, but it also offers guest accommodations, allowing visitors to catch the first glimpse of the morning sun in the United States. Number 5 Burt's Bees was founded in Maine in 1984 and produces personal care products that are made with natural ingredients that are minimally processed to maintain their purity. Simple living, nature-loving Burt Shavitz and Roxanne Quimby met when Burt stopped to pick up Roxanne as she was hitchhiking, and they found they had a lot in common. Soon she started making natural candles using the beeswax Burt had saved from his hives, and eventually they shifted focus onto personal care products, such as the much-loved Burt's Bees Beeswax Lip Balm. From humble beginnings, their products are now used around the world. Number 6 the cute little black-capped chickadee has been the official state bird since 1927. For a wild bird, these little guys are quite curious and friendly, and they might even eat seed right out of your hand if you're patient and still. Unlike most birds, the hardy little chickadee doesn't migrate and can be seen in the woods and backyards of Maine throughout the year. Many consider the cheerful chickadee as a symbol of good luck and qualities such as happiness, positivity, and good fortune. Number 7. Maine and lobsters go hand in hand. The state produces about 80% of the country's annual catch. Roughly 100 million tons are hauled from the ocean annually by lobster fishermen and women, and shipped throughout the country and around the world. Today, lobster is considered a delicacy, but back in the 17th century, they were so plentiful along the coast that it was considered a poor man's meal and was served to local prisoners and servants alike. Number 8. 
Acadia National Park encompasses just a few of Maine's many islands, preserving their natural and sometimes rugged beauty and area wildlife, and it's one of the most visited parks in the nation. While visiting, be sure to take one of the many cruises available where you'll be able to spot all sorts of amazing wildlife and historic lighthouses. The waters and islands play host to finback, humpback, and mink whales, porpoises, seals, bald eagles, and the cute little black and white penguin-like puffin with their unmistakable large colorful bills. Number 9. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, one of the most influential poets of his day, was born in Portland on February 2, 1807. As a studious child, he excelled in languages and literature, and later attended Bowdoin College, where he met his lifelong friend and fellow literary great Nathaniel Hawthorne. After graduation, he traveled Europe for a while before returning home and becoming a professor of modern languages at Bowdoin College and later Harvard University. Some of his most celebrated poems include The Song of Hiawatha, Paul Revere's Ride, and Evangeline. He also notably translated Dante's Divine Comedy from Italian to English. Number 10. The Maine Coon Cat, commonly referred to as a gentle giant, has been the official state cat since 1985 and is one of the oldest natural domestic cat breeds in North America. These fluffy fur balls are one of the largest domestic breeds in the world, with males averaging between 15 and 25 pounds and females between 8 and 12 pounds. They have a mellow, gentle nature and usually get along quite well with other pets and children. While males tend to have a bit more of a goofy and playful attitude, females tend to be a bit more refined in nature. In closing, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Greybeard's Jewels.